Hi, this is John at Dodge Chrysler Jeep of Monroe, and today we are going to talk about the most off-road capable vehicle on the planet, Jeep Wranglers. Now, the most common question that we find people ask us about the Jeep Wranglers, what's the difference between a Sport, a Sahara, and a Rubicon? Well, today I'm here to show you. First of all, we're going to start off with our Jeep Wrangler. This is the Jeep Wrangler Sport, or the Jeep Wrangler Classic. The Jeep Wrangler comes with quite a few standard options. Things like roll up windows. Your kids will love them. Power windows are optional. Keyless entry is optional. Alloy wheels are optional. However, you can see this particular one has the standard steel wheels. Automatic transmissions are optional. The hard top is optional. If you're the Jeep purist, they still make them the way they used to, guys. Now, for those of you that want a few more creature comforts, we're gonna move up the food chain a little bit. This is a Sahara package. The Sahara package comes standard with those power windows, power door locks, and keyless entry that we know you all want. If your wife doesn't want them, yeah, you deserve them, don't you? We get a couple extra fun things that go along with us. Color match bender flares are very nice. You can see our standard running board that comes along with the vehicle. We have a standard 18 inch wheel. And we open ourselves up to many of the fancier options. If you want leather interior, you want navigation, it's all available in the Sahara package. For those of you that are the 1% that want a Jeep and they really want to go off-road, that's where we move down to our Rubicon. Now, this particular Rubicon is the JK model. These last two Jeeps we've been looking at are the brand new 2019 JL models. Now, Rubicon does have some differences. The previous two Jeeps will go anywhere that 99% of the people need to go. That other 1%, where the Rubicon comes in. All Jeeps come standard with a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. It's been on Ward's top 10 engine list over and over and over and over again. They are set up for off-road. Both the Sahara and the Sport have a standard Dana 44 rear axle and a Dana 30 front axle. If you're that 1%, the Dana 44 front axle might be for you. Have your axle for more off-road capability. The axle also has an electronic push button sway bar disconnect for more articulation in the wheels. We get a standard BFG uh, tire that goes along with the vehicle, Bilstein shocks. Rock rails built along the bottom of the vehicle for those of you that are truly going to give your Jeep some punishment. It has a rock crawler transfer case inside of it with optional 410 gears if you're the extremist. Basically what it comes down to, if you want a Jeep for fun, you want to take the top down, there's no bad choice in the bunch. They are all convertible. If you want the luxury, the Sahara might be the way to go. If you're the true purist and want to truly go off-road and challenge yourself, the Rubicon may be the way. The Rubicon can come with all the creature comforts of the Sahara, however, they're not standard. If you get more questions or interested in some of the subcategory Jeeps, I know it can get very confusing when we add in the Willys package, the Black Bear package, the Winter package, so on and so forth. Feel free to give me a call anytime. Again, it's John Knudsen, Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Monroe, and hope you're having a great day. Good Jeeping.